Welcome Libra, this is going to be your singles reading for May. Hope everybody is doing well. Okay, so we have the Emperor in the reverse, with the Eight of Rings, and the Tower. The Emperor and the Tower, um, this is why delays are happening for sure, is because somebody here is um, want, desiring for some type of control as to why the challenge is there's no effort coming in or no progress or anything positive at this time. The tower is saying that there is something going on um, to where it's causing a lot of conflict and disruption within the connection or within the situation for sure. And it's causing a lot of delays uh, because of this emperor energy. So what is going on? Let's see. Okay. Now oh, we have the two of cups. Oh, and the three of swords. Ooh, the five of swords. All right, so we have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces coming into the reading. We have the Nine of Cups and the King of Swords. Let me fix this for a minute. Okay. You're coming in very, very wise. Like you have all the answers here. It looks like there's like an offer or something within the Page of Pentacles energy. There is a, a decision or should I stay or should I go? But I feel here is that there's just so much like, there's a very strong bond but it feels very conflicted and defeated here too with their future actions. Let's go ahead and clarify. Okay, so it looks like things have really changed with this person. It looks like how they felt about you was definitely a very true feeling. They have a lot of feelings for you, what they said about their actual feelings about you and how they see things, they do. They, they care about you emotionally, deeply here. Some Somebody does. <laughs> and the Three of Cups is coming in. Hmm. They want to close out a cycle here. They look at you as the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles energy. They look at you as like a family, love. Looks like you are seeing this as an opportunity yourself, something that may be stable or a stable opportunity. But there's a challenge, this conflict about this new beginning or this conflict about this pentacle, this seed that's being planted. Could be a very big challenge here for a lot of you guys. We do have the devil and the queen of cups. So definitely a strong energy. The devil is here and there's like some attachment that I'm seeing. There's also emotions, but there's like an unhealthy attachment about something here, about this person that you're connected to. Now the devil can be very lusty. Okay, it could be a lot of chemistry involved, um, doing things together, you know, short-term happiness, but then there's like some things that, a, a negative pattern or a bad pattern that, that can be created when the devil is here because it's showing more lust. It's showing more temptation. And it feels like this person, oh, they're wanting control to why they're kind of coming in as like they're walking away. They feel like you may walk away or their fear of you walking away here. 
it's so crazy. You guys can take, you guys can switch the roles, but this is more of you and this is more of them and where it's leading to, right? You have the seven of swords and a devil on your side. So there's something here to where there's like a little bit of sneakiness, a little bit of like, there's like a little bit of hiding or not really... So like you have to hide this connection or something but it's so strong you feel magnetized to it but I'm feeling like a like you're like you know that something here isn't right but you still want to go for it you know it's just that pull that magnetizing feeling This person is playing way too many games, you guys. They want the control as we have the emperor. This emperor is desiring for you to be lusty over them or they like know what they're doing. It feels like something has created within this connection and something turned, something switched. There's you having your guard up, triggered by past the past or something about the past or this could be this connection, this a very strong connection. Just there's also like somebody wanting to come back, but a tower has occurred, and it looks like somebody is like walking away. There is a breakup, but then starting things back up again. So you see, it seems like a pattern has created here. It's like a fight or an argument or someone didn't follow through with something and now it's like there's a, a bit of, a, I can't, there's really no other way to explain it but just saying that there's unhealthy patterns that have been created here and a lot of temptation and things have had happened. There's a tower moment so it looks like there's like a very big challenge, lots of drama for some of you guys and chaos regarding this. But then... Their future actions is to come is to come towards you after they say all these things and then they completely go back on it and now here's an offer coming in someone feels like they should have expressed themselves better Looks like these are messages, divine messages to you. Self-love. I'm trying to heal. Sabotage. I mess up the good things in my life sometimes. I don't know if we will ever change habits. That's what I'm seeing here. There's habits that have been created. Patterns. Unhealthy cycles. And there's a lot. There's a very strong connection here. There's no doubt about that, Libra. But from what I'm seeing, your feelings are very intense. It could be good or bad. <laughs> it's like a love-hate type of feeling. And with this person, they're just like, I'm going to walk away, you know, or I'm just going to remove my energy, not talk to Libra, and then break up in a way or separate and then come back later. And then here comes the offer from that King of Cups energy, which is I feel is more of the Emperor energy they're carrying. When it's just a very self-sabotaging energy. Looks like there is a lot of healing and holding back on their end to where it's hard to have a solid opportunity, a solid foundation, a solid connection with this person. Grab some clarity cards here. Be consistent. Getting what you want takes top priority. Can be dealing with an Aquarius. Good fortune comes with change. These are just these are clarity cards, but 
I don't know. Don't take things too personal. Don't stop before reaching your destination. I want to see if I could get anything else for you guys. Because this is really interesting to see what... Oh, there could be children involved. Your love life is being affected by children. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Maybe children involved too. But you know what, you guys? I just feel that somebody is... There's just this magnetic connection. And something has been... Um, disrupted here. When it comes to the matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life or love. There is a very indecisive person, and there is an, in, it does feel like they are, like in their, like what they're planning to do is they're planning to ignore. They're planning to break this off, but their future actions is like, come here you know <laughs> like towards you is wanting passion this feeling again whatever that may be to light things up again but it makes you still a little a bit upset so i just see this going in circles that's where i see this going i see this going in circles i feel like a love hate relationship of well, hate's a strong word but you know like a makeup breakup situation um things turning really unhealthy a lot of self-sabotaging a lot of games and sneakiness and passion <laughs> so that's what i'm seeing here for you libra i mean i'm gonna go ahead and leave this here this is what i see for your singles reading on where things may be headed so again take what resonates and leave the rest um, not everybody's going to resonate with these readings, and that's okay. Uh, but I'm going to leave it here. I will see you guys very soon. I am going to be posting the mid-May readings. And uh, if this did help in any way, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again very soon. God bless.